there may be occasions where you are required to make an adjustment to your VAT return. This is normally due to a request from HMRC, your accountant, or because you're on a specialised VAT scheme. Typically, a manual adjustment wouldn't be made to correct for a transactional error. If you've entered a transaction in error, it should be dealt with at transactional level. So let's take a look at how to add a manual adjustment should you need to do so. So first of all, we're in the second window of the VAT return called Reconcile VAT Return. You'll notice we have a section called Make Adjustments. And within here, we have the buttons to make adjustments and also to add attachments. So if we click on make adjustments, you can see a new box appears showing each of the boxes of the VAT return and their current calculated value. We also then have the adjustment column and these boxes can be edited. In this case, we've been instructed by HMRC that we need to increase box one by £1,000. So in this case, we're going to double click on the adjustment box for box one. This opens up an additional box and in here we need to enter the reason for the adjustment. In this case, we're going to say HMRC instruction and tab across to the adjustment column to indicate how much that adjustment is for. Once happy, click save and this will take you back to the original manual adjustments box. Here you will still be able to see the calculated value, but you will also be able to see any adjustments and their impact on the reported figures. Once you're happy all adjustments have been entered, click close to return to the VAT return window. Remember at this point, the adjustment has not yet been saved until we actually reconcile the return. We now have the ability to add an attachment to your adjustment. So if you do have a letter from HMRC indicating you need to make an adjustment or you have a complex calculation in Excel, you are now able to attach this into the VAT return. To do so, we can just browse in the file and click OK. Once we are happy with all of the figures on the VAT return and we know we have our backup, we're then able to reconcile the VAT return. Once reconciled, we're still able to view the adjustments at the bottom of the VAT return window. And we can also run a report to pull through the figures of any manual adjustments that have been entered. We can also open up any attachments, which is particularly useful if somebody else has been in charge of running the VAT return. Manual adjustments have a transactional impact on our data. If we look at our transactions list, scroll to the very bottom, we can see we have a pair of journals. Both of them refer specifically to which return they're relating to and is moving values from the VAT liability code, which in our case is 2202, onto our manual adjustments code. Again, by default, that's 2204. If we take a look at the manual adjustments nominal code, we can see the total of any adjustments made on your VAT returns.